Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So we have this problem here. Express these sinusoids as phasors. Part A. V is equal to minus 7 cos 2t minus 40 degrees volts. Part B. I is equal to 4 sin 10t plus 10 degrees amperes. Right? So let's begin. Part A. Uh, the given uh, sinusoid is V is equal to minus 7 cos 2t plus 40 degrees volts. Right? So we must uh, first transform it to the standard form. This is a minus cos function and we should transform into a positive cos function. Remember that uh, our standard form is something like this. Uh, uh, VFT, let me just uh, uh, to make it different from the given V here, let's uh, write it uh, uh, V1T here. So this is VM cos mega T plus phi. So this part is uh, corresponds to this one, okay? But this is minus 7 here, so we must first transform it to the, uh, the positive uh, cost function. So if you remember this uh, graphical representation, we have uh, cos omega t here and we have minus cos omega t here. So uh, we don't have, have a plus 180 or a minus 180 here, here, right? So uh, if we are uh, if we are to transform into the cos omega t, so this must uh, uh, still uh, be, uh, must conform to these values. So suppose if we are here, we can arrive here either in this direction, plus 180 degrees or from here, minus 180 degrees. So we can write this uh, uh, function in the positive uh, uh, form like 7 cos 2t plus 40 degrees plus 180 degrees, right? So v will be equal to 7 cos 2t plus uh, 220 degrees volts, right? And uh, the corresponding uh, phasor domain representation will be V bar is equal to 7 angle 220 degrees volts, right? And also uh, note that uh, uh, we could uh, uh, arrive here at minus cos omega t uh, using this minus 180 also, right? So uh, this can also be written as V is equal to 7 cos 2t plus 40 degrees minus 180 degrees. So this V will be equal to 7 cos 2t and minus 140 degrees. Right? Force. So the corresponding uh, phasor domain representation will be V bar is equal to 7 angle minus 140 degree volts. Right? So another approach to convert is uh, to uh, leave the minus sign here uh, while converting. For example, if we have V is equal to minus 7 cos 2t plus uh, 40 degree volts, right? So we can uh, directly convert it into the phasor domain. So the V bar is equal to minus 7 angle uh, 40 degrees here volts. But uh, 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 remember minus 1 uh, is equal to uh, 1 angle 180 degrees or 1 angle minus 180 degrees or using the exponential form this is e to the power j 180 degrees or e is power minus j 180 degrees. So if you see e to the power j 180 degrees equal to cos 180 plus j sine 180 degrees right so the sine 180 is 0 cos 180 is uh, minus 1 so that is equal to minus 1 and e is power minus j 180 degrees is equal to cos minus 180 degrees uh, plus j sine uh, or minus j sine 180 degrees so again this is minus 1 and sine 180 is 0 this is again minus 1 here so this minus 1 here, uh, uh, this this V bar here can be considered as uh, minus 1 multiplied by a 7 angle 
40 degrees and this minus 1 can be considered as uh, 1 angle 180 degrees into 7 angle 40 degrees so this is v bar is equal to 7 angle 180 plus 40 so that will be 220 degrees volts right so again we arrive at the same answer as here or uh, we can uh, take it uh, we can take v bar is equal to uh, uh, minus 1 can be taken as uh, 1 angle minus 180 degrees multiplied by 7 angle 40 degrees so that will be 7 angle minus 140 degrees here so we arrive at the same answer as here right so there are multiple ways to solve the same problem uh, and if we uh, plot this uh, phaser uh, this is real axis this is imaginary axis right so angle 220 this is 180 and with 40 degree here we have this phaser here right and uh, from the negative uh, this angle uh, uh, 40 degrees so we, if we if we have uh, minus 140 so this is minus 90 here and uh, minus 50 here we arrive at the same point here right so this is 40 degree here and this is 50 degree here so we arrive at, we arrive at the same phase diagram here right so this uh, phaser the sinusoid can be represented in the phaser domain as either as v is equal to 7 angle 222 volts or v is bar is equal to 7 angle minus 140 degrees so the part b now um, we have i is equal to 4 sine 10 t plus 10 degrees amperes so uh, this must also be represented in the uh, cosine form so i is equal to 4 cos 10 t plus uh, 10 degrees and then minus uh, 90 degrees here why uh, sine omega t is here minus sine omega t is here and we want to con uh, transform into the cosine omega t right so if we uh, go from here to here so we are moving uh, at an angle uh, we are uh, we need to uh, add this minus 90 degrees here so this is minus 90 degrees so this is i is equal to 4 cos 10 t minus 80 degrees so in the phasor domain that will be is equal to 4 angle minus 80 degrees amperes right so uh, uh, the phasor representation uh, of this uh, sinusoid will be this is the real part this is the imaginary part so they, we have this angle minus 80 degrees here this is i here and um, you must know that we cannot represent both these phasors on the same diagram because the angular frequencies of both the phasors are different this phasor has omega is equal to 2 this has omega is equal to 10 so the angular frequencies are different so we'll be using different plots for both these phasors